this Tuesday in Holy Week, again the readings from the prophet Isaiah and the Gospel of St. John have that extraordinary tension going on, building as from yesterday and as from Sunday's reading of the Passion. And that line that comes to us, he said to me, you are my servant Israel in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking I have, to, I have toiled in vain, I have exhausted myself for nothing. How often do we feel that we have toiled for nothing? That our best efforts when we try to do the right thing, try to be faithful to the Mass and the sacraments, try to do right by our families, by our neighbours, by our country, and that it goes for nothing sometimes. And not only goes for nothing, but that good goes and is often re rewarded by others by all types of mischief and harm or being misrepresented. But we take confidence from Isaiah because we see in that passage of St. John of the Passion that Judas goes out to betray our Lord for his 30 pieces of silver and even St. Peter at the end clearly not understanding what is going on. And our Lord appears to be exasperated when he says, lay down your life for me. I tell you most solemnly, before the cock crows, you will disown me three times. Therefore, even in those moments of exasperation and frustration and disappointment, and even sometimes when depression comes our way, we must cling, as Christ was able to cling, to the love of the Father and the knowledge that he is the Son of God. And whilst we are not sons and daughters of God by birth, as in the incarnation we celebrated last week, we are sons by adoption through our baptism. And so that therefore, this new life in Christ Jesus is our hope, is our confidence. And that though we are to travel in this Holy Week through the darkness of human despair on the part of Judas and cowardice and sin, institutional prejudices, religious bigotry, all of these things that we travel through will lead us in our own experience and in meditating upon the gospel to the light of Easter so that when in a few days time we are able to see the Easter candle once again we are restored with confidence that Christ Jesus alone is the light of the world and the hope of all peoples on earth.